first place in the Metropolitan Division. It's the Carolina Hurricanes hosting the league surprise New Jersey Devils. Welcome into the broadcast, everybody. We're underway here in Raleigh as the Hurricanes get the puck off the draw. Throw it right on goal from the far side. They poke away at it in front of the blue plate. Kakanyami sticks at it, and it's poked away now to the near corner by Graves for the Devils. Now back out front. Kakanyami back, and he scores! Yes, Barry Kakanyami right out the gate, and the Hurricanes lead 1-0. All it took was 20 seconds and Jesperi Kakanyemi here with his 8th point in 9 games here against the New Jersey Devils. Now his 4th fourth goal in 9 games as he gets the Hurricanes here on the board with his 4th goal of the year. It over. Now here's Jack Hughes back the other way. Wristed one from the near circle. Blockered away there by Kochekov and it goes up and out of play. Hamilton at the near faceoff circle looking for a shooting line. That's one go and he tried to go short side but went up over the top of the net. So Hamilton again back at the point. 20 seconds of power play time remain. Wristed one towards the goal. Deflected. Now it's loose in front. Oh and a left pad save. Go check off. They still poke away at it forward in front. The Canes Foss trying to get at it but he's not going to be able to clear. Brilliant save by Peter the Great. Now another shot by Hughes into the glove of Peter Koch. Check off. So Kochekov here with a brilliant penalty kill effort here for the Canes. They always say your best PK member has to be your goaltender. And he has been just that so far on this kill. And now Miles Wood on the rebound chipped it up ahead. He's able to get a step there on Shea and poke it deep. But Bre or Brett Pesci, I should say, is there to meet the loose puck. Now could be a two-on-one for the Canes. Stastny the other way with Natchez. Natchez a shot in and out of the glove there of Vanacek. A backhand follow-up. And that's going to be stopped by Vanacek as well. So Marty Natchez here close to making it 2 nothing here for Carolina. But Vanacek able to stand tall and make not one but two saves. So Marino chases back for New Jersey. As they get fresh bodies on the ice, Burns picks it up for the Canes off the turnover. Makes a nice move, splits the D, goes across, Natchez scores! Oh, Brent Burns set up Marty Natchez, what a play! And the Canes extend their lead to two here with another first minute goal. Excuse me, this came just a couple seconds after the first minute he last, but 8-88 to 88 to make it 2 nothing. A beautiful job here from Brent Burns. He was able to capitalize off the turnover from Marino. He just threw it up to the middle of the ice. Nobody was there for the Devils. And when he entered that devil zone, he just split through Ryan Graves and Marino. Made a nice pass across to a wide open Marty Natchez. Who was able to poke home the one-timer and make it 2-0 in favor of the Hurricanes. No chance. Challenged by New Jersey. It was deemed the play was offside at 18.51 prior to the ball. And the goal is going to be called back as it now Slavin out of the far corner for Carolina, able to loft it out to neutral ice. Touch pass from Martin, look at the logo, far side stall, shot, score! Jordan Stahl, a far side shot, did not miss, and the Canes have now extended their lead to two. So Jordan Stahl, what a wicked wrister, able to get it past the glove side there of Vitek Vanacek. It's goal number nine on him for the year, and a good play there. Able to let that go from the far faceoff circle. As this all started with that clearing attempt up ahead by the Canes. And then just at that logo at center, Martin took a nice play to settle it down, touch it across the stall. And he had a step on Hughes and just let that go from the far circle. The New Jersey Devils. So Wood goes to the far side for Dawson Mercer. Had it knocked away. Could be an odd man rush here. Shorthanded for the Canes. Three on two. Here's Slavin to a cross here for Teravine. Shot he scores! Tavo Teravine is shorthanded. Bit of a softy there to give up if you're Vitek Vanacek. And it's 3-0 Carolina now. So Tavo Teravainen finally getting back on the score sheet here after being out for quite a few games. He gets his second goal of the year. And it comes shorthanded this time as he was able to let a shot go from the near faceoff circle under the stick there of Holtz and able to beat Vitek Vanacek to the glove side. So the Canes now snapping it back up ahead. Another two on one. Odd man rush. Nesson let one go. Rebound couldn't be poked on by Stepan. Followed up there on a wraparound try. Couldn't get it on goal. Stepan just completely shanked a wide open net. It was it's being watched here by Brady Shea or Slavin, I should say. Now it's wristed towards the goal from the far side. He sure a follow up try. Oh, and a stick save maybe by Kochekov as he stacked the pads and maybe poke checked it. So that puck went fluttering up in the air and ended up not getting on goal. Pulls up at the far half wall. Now leaves it for 
Damon Severson at the top of the right circle. He threw it towards the goal, went off his own man, but Hughes now all alone, a backhander to save made by Kochekov, as he's been brilliant here tonight, as he's got another left pad saved to boot. On into Carolina Ice, but it's sent back up ahead quickly by Jacob Slavin. Now a turnover, here's a breakaway, yes for Branson, Brad a shot, oh, and a right toe save is made by Peter Kochekov. Brad went forehand, backhand, forehand, and Kochekov again, able to make a great speed great save as he's now kind of bent over in the crease here i hope devils get in he was a shot and a save was made there by kochekov point blank so the devils here with a quality chance right here on the power play back out to the point is brent burns brent's wristed it towards the goal oh, and a knob save is made there by blackwood it bounced up in the air the knob of the stick got it with blackwood and then it bounced right in front of the blue paint and he was able to cover for a tip there off the stick of shade nobody home there the Devils, they get on out. Could be an odd man rush three and two the other way if they hurry. Hughes sidesteps Teravine and takes a shot. He scores! Oh, Jack Hughes, what a play! And the Devils are on the board and wipe or get rid of the whitewash. So Jack Hughes with a head of steam from the red line in, just able to cut past Teravine and he was caught skating backwards as a forward. And he was able to snap a far side shot past the blocker of Peter Kochekov. Out in the Devils, but he gets it up ahead. Drury gets to the red line and snaps it deep. To the far corner, Siegenthaler picks it up out of his own end. Now turned over. Oh, a shot score! Nason backed it in off the back of Blackwood! It counts a goal! Oh, a turnover in the back of the, er, behind the goal line by Step. Er, oh, I can't even speak. Jonas Siegenthaler turned it over behind the goal. Stefan Nesson picked it up and caught Blackwood lacking as he shot it right off of his back and into the back of the net and Carolina has a 4-1 to one lead now. The Canes with 15 seconds left to go in this one will sit behind their own goal and the Canes faithful will come to their feet here in Raleigh as they await the storm surge. Storm surge I should say as the Canes are going to walk out of here 4-1 to one victors and hold sole possession of first place in the Metropolitan Division over the New Jersey Devils. Thank you for watching USRN on YouTube. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more USRN highlights and for even more dedicated coverage, follow USRN and USRN2 on Mixler.com and at USRN Radio on Twitter.